guys, this is a famous IG star right here. This is Daniel Sin. He is. He's super famous. Yeah. Sneaking in. All right. Anyway, let's 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 go record. Forget Daniel. He doesn't. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be in, in our video anyway. So let's begin. All right, enough of the shenanigans. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're looking at a two month video using this device. Uh, and a lot of things you see in this video will be captured off the S24 Ultra. I'll be using, of course, this mic most of the time, but you get to see me use it in different situations, in many places. We'll talk about photos, videos, all that stuff. Now, some of the things we love about the S24 Ultra is the gaming performance, which we tend to do a lot on this channel. And of course, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is available and you can easily play it with a backbone controller. It's not a sponsored plug or anything like that. It's just much easier to play with this. And I gotta say, the experience is fun. It's great, I've got some wins, but in this video, you're gonna see a lot of just terrible gameplay as you would expect. S24 Ultra works well. Um, performance wise, I'm getting roughly between 55 to 57 frames per second, but it runs really warm. Um, I didn't measure the temps, but just in hand, if you're holding it, it's very, very warm. Uh, that's something to take note. So see, hopefully that gets optimized as the game uh, kind of moves on. Uh, but, you know, kind of just talking about the device quickly before we get back to some of the shenanigans we do in this video. I do like the fact that we have that anti-reflective display out in direct sunlight is absolutely stunning. It's great to actually have that. Although Samsung talks about this being a device that doesn't scratch easily, I've had this nice little gash. It's not a scratch, but it just looks like it's scuff marks on my screen uh, from day one. So it, it's been there ever since, and it's just something that I can't take off. It doesn't affect it in any way, or it doesn't feel like that, but it is what it is. Um, you know, and the day-to-day -day use of the device is great. Oh, by the way, I gotta talk about this quickly. This is the Galaxy Fit 3. This is probably the best fitness band that I have ever used uh, from Samsung or anyone. Uh, it's got a 14 hour day battery. That is impressive battery life. Comes in three colors, black, white, I believe the last one, I can't remember, is it pink or something like that? But it's very simple. It's got the standard UI you would expect from you know, a Samsung um, smartwatch. Um, you can go through exercises, it tracks your sleep. Uh, but the cool thing is that you can work out with this and it will give you a 14 day, one four day battery life which is impressive. So that's something to take note, guys, um, that I haven't seen anywhere. And pairing that with the S24 Ultra, it's great because you don't have to charge this at all. And this also battery life wise is really, really good. Um, I'm a heavy user, so I always put it on battery saver mode and it extends it pretty well. Without battery saver, I can do uh, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. easy. Uh, with that, I can go all the way to like maybe, you know, 1 a.m. in the morning. So. Again, solid, solid battle life, and I think uh, pretty stellar. But anyway, I am going to head over to the New York Auto Show, so let's go check that out. And the New York Auto Show. But this one over here. Oh, you're not doing a review. Look at that. That is fine. That's fine. That is a point. Uh, that's my car right there. The GX is, oh, that, oh, yeah. Oh, this is GX right here. It's real hard though, like for real. Yeah, the eighty thousand dollar one. Our oh, design is. I mean, it reminds me of the. Uh... Yo, this is the ID Buzz right here. Uh, remember the old uh, VW bus? This is a long wheelbase, much bigger, lots of space in this vehicle. Um, it's coming 2024. Uh, it's also three row, you can see here. Front right here, the middle, and then of course the back here. Not a lot of trunk space in the back, but you do have a spacious third row. Uh, of course, charging everywhere as you expect. We'll see how that goes, and then we can close this up. Here we go. So what do you guys think? ID Buzz. <sighs> All right, so. I've been driving the BMW i7 M70. I'm heading to my brother-in-law's house because we're having a barbecue and checking out a pretty cool like P3 
pizza oven grill. Like, it's pretty cool stuff. You see it in a sec. Uh, but let's just talk briefly about this car because I've kind of gone on this like EV journey for two weeks. I had the Kia EV9 the week ago, and that was a fun experience with that car, seven-seater uh, SUV. This is a luxury vehicle. The BMW i7 M70 uh, is priced at $168,000. Um, you've got 0 to 16, I think 3.2, 3.5. Um, and this car is just plush in every way. This is a car where you should be driven, not driving. Honestly, anyone, if I see anyone driving this car, that's just not the way it should be. And right behind me, I believe is an EQS, uh, which I think is more of a driver's car than this, than anything else. But I do love the experience in this car. You've got that infotainment system in the front, great heads up display that's so visible. Cool thing with heads up display, when you're changing your music tracks, um, you don't see it on the displays in front of you. It actually shows on the heads up display, pretty nice. I'm sure it's been there for a while in other vehicles, but it's my first experience. Now, um, you're probably gonna ask about the range. Maximum range in this car with the efficiency mode on is 299 miles. So it's not as high as I would like, but it's pretty accurate. But on, at efficiency mode, you're capped at 60 miles per hour, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, when you're just regular, it's about 274 or so. Uh, and then you can, of course, drive up to 160 miles per hour if you want to, uh, of this car. Uh, the, the amount of tech here is impressive. The different modes, the Hans Zimmer sounds while you're, uh, you're driving in the different uh, driving modes is also great. Uh, EQS just passed me there. It's the AMG version. Let's just see what the M and AMG can do. Um, the back seat is where it's at in this car. That's where you should be. Uh, the driver's side, basically the owner's corner as you will. You can basically kick it back into this like relaxed mode. Uh, I did that while I was charging the car because I had to wait to charge, which we'll talk about. Um, but there's, there's a massive display here as well, which is pretty cool. You get to just bring it down, watch a movie, fire TV stuff. You can connect it there. Um, and uh, it gives you a lot of space and room. So that's where this car really shines. It's been driven around in the car all there. Uh, I forgot to mention the efficiency mode. If you're using that, you um, don't also, you can't control the temperatures in the car. So that's something to take note because it's trying to maximize uh, the battery efficiency as much as possible. And this is just me kicking it off and driving off. This is so fast. EVs are so great with that acceleration. And this car does not disappoint. Uh, it's so comfortable. Look, the other thing to note is the headrest has built-in speakers right here. So which means we get in surround sound while I'm listening to music. Um, and even when you listen to the audiobook, it's so great, it's very personal. This car is just packed with a ton of stuff. Uh, the ambient lighting at night is super cool. It's great, but I'm headed to my brother-in-law's place. I gotta go eat. It's St. Patrick's Day, so let's go ahead and uh, check out some more stuff there. Actually, let's just go and eat. Where's everybody? <laughs> That's just an excuse. <laughs> Call it what you want. Wow. <laughs> I ain't got like six more doughs, so. I was dreaming about it. Don't, do it don't do it on the floor. Put, put, it, up, it. put it up here. <laughs> Making pizza with the chef over here. What up? What up? There he is. Look at that. Well, I'm drinking um, extra salt. Oh, we got tomato sauce today, huh? Yeah. Uh, yesterday we had a special kind of pizza with olive oil. It was technically an adult calzone. Right? We'll Isn't have more of those today. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. See what I mean by people? Now you just need to get two sticks and just rub it together. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Exaggeration. <laughs> Hospital from when we had Ash, babe. <laughs> Forget about it, put it in there. <laughs> All right, so, Chef, quick talk, question. Talk to me. 
How much dough did you buy? Six, six doughs. Gonna feed about eight to eight to ten of us. Okay, and how much did that cost? Uh, each dough was three dollars, as opposed to about twenty for a finished pizza. And uh, everyone's waiting for pizza over here. So yeah, <laughs> it should be it should be good, but. I had it already yesterday and it was pretty dope. So everyone's pretending like they can't talk because the camera's on right now. <laughs> but wait, what kind of beast are you making this time? We're gonna do a little pistachio mascarpone cream, get that in the oven. Uh, and then we're gonna have some burrata on there and mortadella when it comes out. Look at that. Sit down and hold that line. Only know how to play my part. Say so when I make that mind. Hold on. This, this, this is slice right here. This is. Mmm. Mmm. Is this, is this better than takeout? Is oh, that what we're trying to yeah, solve? Yeah, it is. Right on. Babe, come and get a slice. Yeah. Babe, the dough is a little better than takeout. Better than takeout. I'll leave this one here. Well, look at him. <laughs> what you got in front? Huh? You drink it? Mm. This one has no cheese, almost no cheese. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. Come here, give me a plate. Take that one. <laughs> can I give it to you so you can lick it? What? Yes, I want to lick that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want it. A little bit to caramelize on top of the banana. One second, bud. Cut it, chef. Cut it, chef. Cut it, chef. The other one, going up you want to go to the bathroom? Here, give me that. Okay. Okay. No, that one was all cone. I want that one. In the bottom, there's like a... It's delicious. Bite. 10 out of 10. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Give me. Oh my God. <laughs> Chef said at night. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for additional Nutella. <laughs> I wish I could just. About to dip the, the, the pizza. No. <laughs> no, I have class. Mm -hmm. You sure? <laughs> well, it's okay. <laughs> There's a lot the Galaxy S24 Ultra brings to the table and in two months uh, I've enjoyed my experience with this device with great battery life, some really good cameras that also have improved. But as you notice, I'm in a very different space because we moved to a brand new office. Now I'll give you guys a tour, but not in this video. So stay tuned and always enjoy your entertainment.